Hello, Larry here with American Firearms Training. Today we're at Cobra One Tactical, located in Northwest New Jersey. It's actually Great Meadows, New Jersey, for anybody that's looking to go to a good gun store. Uh, this is where I actually give my classes. Today's class or lesson that I'll be covering over today is basically how to present your firearm from the holster to a threat or a target. All right, so basically it's three steps. Drawing the holster, presenting the firearm, and then reholstering the, uh, the weapon system. But before I get into that, let me just go over the four basic firearm rules. Treat every weapon as if it's loaded in real. Never point your uh, weapon at anything you don't intend to shoot or destroy. Keep your finger off the trigger until you're actually ready to shoot. And of course, be sure of your target and what's beyond it. Today, for example, I will be using a training dummy gun, okay? It's 100% inert and completely safe. The reason why I'm doing that is because I do not want to present a live weapon, even though it will be unloaded, towards my cameraman, okay? That's obviously unsafe. So again, basically when it comes to this lesson, it breaks down into three parts. Drawing, the hol uh, drawing from the holster, presenting the weapon system, and then actually reholstering. I'm not going to be covering sight alignment, sight picture, sight focus. I'm not actually covering the shooting process. Strictly drawing from the holster, presenting the weapon, and reholstering. So to get started, it's real simple. Everybody has their own holster, whatever you're, I'm not going to cover that today. This is the system I use. I'm in the United States Air Force. I stick with what I know. I keep everything consistent. Whatever I use for the military, for my security, or my uh, training, it's all the same. I keep it simple. This way, I'm not relearning something. Obviously, if I'm carrying a gun concealed, that is different. But the basic ideas are still the same. So if I have a threat coming at me, obviously, I want to try to get my weapon system on target I may not be firing, but I want to present that weapon as quickly as possible. But the problem with that is if you just practice always being fast, more than likely you're going to train yourself into doing a lot of mistakes or what we call scars. The best way to train is slow and methodically. Why? Well, you want to train slow so this way you will always be building that muscle memory. So to get into the lesson, when I feel I have a threat coming towards me, or I need to present my weapon on a target, I want to get to the gun as quickly as possible. So what we say is quick to the grip. That realistically is the only time in this lesson you're ever going to be really fast. All of the, all of the rest of the steps are slow and methodical. Speed will come with time. So grip is very important when you're getting your gun. Your grip actually starts as soon as your hand reaches down and gets the, uh, gr makes contact with the pistol grip. Once I have a good firm grip onto it, the pistol itself, I am then gonna break whatever retention I have. On this gun, or I'm sorry, this holster, the retention is a double retention. It has a bail and also has the Safari Land ALS system. So the pistol actually locks into the holster. So I have to break two retentions before I can even start drawing the holster. So quick to the grip, firm grip, break my retention. Then I'm pulling straight up. All right, we're not gonna bowl, which is like this, as if I was throwing a, bowl, a bowling ball and we're not gonna fish or cast out a line. I'm not a fisherman, so I'm not sure about it. But basically, you don't wanna go and bring the gun out that way. The reason why, when I come down quick to the grip, break my retention straight up, because if my target is running at me and I need to actually present my weapon immediately, all I wanna do is can't. Can I fire from this position? Absolutely if my target is that close. But why am I doing that? Why am I always gonna practice that? Is to build that muscle memory. 
So this way, every time that I bring, uh, bring my weapon up on target, when I draw it from the holster, it's the exact same way every single time. So again, quick to the grip, break the retention, straight up and cant towards the threat. Once I canted, I start presenting and start getting my double grip, okay? Now, with the double grip, you want to immediately, you want to get that hand in a 45 cant towards the ground, thumb towards the target, don't go in front of the mu muzzle, obviously that should be self-explanatory, but what I want, I'm doing is basically clamping together right in front of me. Once I got my good firm grip, I present the weapon up. If you need to fire, that's obviously when you're gonna fire. I am not covering in this lesson side alignment, side picture, side focus. Today is just drawing from the holster, presenting, and reholstering. Quick to the grip, break your retention, straight up, can't, grip, present. Now, that's your whole presentation. So that was step one, step two, the presentation. Step three actually takes place after two, one of two things either happen. Either you had to fire your weapon system to stop the threat or the target disappeared. Uh, the, the, the threat of the pistol, whatever the case may be, you need to reholster. The key to reholstering is because I just had a very stressful um, time. Lot just went. I lost all my, um, my, I got tunnel vision. I got audio exclusion. So I need to break out of that. So what I'm going to do be, before I actually reholster, uh, one, especially if I fired the weapon, but whether you fire the weapon or not, you want to always assess the weapon system. Why? Because if I come up here and, you know, let's say I ran out of ammo, my slide locks to the rear. You may not see this because of your visual, your tunnel vision. You're not going to notice that the slide locked to the rear. You need to reload the weapon. So what I do real fast before I even think about reholstering, I just can't my pistol either to the left or the right, whatever is your personal choice. I just look down the weapon, see where it is. Make sure either I don't have a stove pipe or some kind of jam or that my weapon is still loaded and ready to go. The slide is not locked to the rear. So I assess the weapon real fast and then I scan and I'm scanning like a tank turret. Why am I doing it like a tank turret? The reason why is because I am still in the presentation. If another target, another threat pops up, I'm able to get to that target immediately, put rounds onto the target, target to stop the threat, and I can then reassess my weapon and scan the area one more time. Once, I'm, once I know I have no more threats, and I, the fight is over, because that's the only time you're ever going to reholster, realistically, is when the fight is over. So what I'm doing now, I assess, I scan like a tank turret, and then I just draw the weapon in and back into the holster. Now that time, honestly, if you lo I looked pretty good. I was able to get the weapon back into the holster without actually physically looking. Don't ever... Be afraid to look for your holster, especially after a, tr a stressful incident. I see this all the time on the ranges. I have individuals, they're doing all kinds of stuff like this because they don't want to look at the holster. They think it's weak or that, it, I don't know what it is. But in the meantime, they, they, they're actually taking a live weapon and pointing it at their own leg. Nobody has ever won in any type of gunfight from a quick, fast reholster. You're reholstering because the, uh, the fight is over. Look at your holster. So one more time, I'm going to give all three steps. Going slow so you understand it. Quick to the grip. Break my retention. Draw straight up. Can't towards my threat. Present the firearm bringing both of my hands together and getting my firm grip. 
deal with the threat. Once the threat has been neutralized, I assess my weapon system, scan, and reholster. And they, as you see, that time I physically did look at my holster. There's no reason not to. I'd like to thank everyone today for watching. I hope you found it educational and adds to your skill set. I'd also like to thank Cobra One Tactical for letting us use their classroom today. There'll be more videos coming. Thank you very much.